and as you can see here, we have our micro hydro unit. The three turbines generate 2.5 kilowatts of power every hour, 24 seven. So we have a continuous power supply here. And actually this micro hydro unit generates more power than the Marae and the iwi owned farm use in a year. So the excess power that we generate, we sell into the national grid. On this side, we've got the inlet side, which has been specifically designed to enable the water to come in, minimum environmental impact. The large piece of steel up on top there effectively is a sliding gate. So in times of flood, we can actually shut that down and that locks the whole system off. The grills on that side are there to prevent debris from going into the turbines, but also we have a and we have one more grill which we took out for today so you could see the three mil fish grill and the intention of that grill is to make sure that no native fish get into the turbine system. So there was quite a bit of earthworks that was done here to enable the water to be bypassed rather than go over the waterfall. It comes through the inlet through the outlet into the turbines, generates the power, and then is discharged back into the Pōkaitū. Uh, that power there then goes up to a inverter up at the Marae, and that's how it gets converted uh, into a voltage that we can use. The excess power is then sold back into the grid. The, the whakapapa of this particular project is in 2012, we had a renewable energy wānanga here, and that was when the idea of utilising micro-hydro came up. Um, however, on discussion with our old people, they reminded us that at the turn of the century, the site was actually used as a processing mill for um, flax fibres to be turned into ropes. So actually, where we're standing right now, there was a water wheel run from the um, stream and that powered the uh, flax mill. So in fact our ancestors at the turn of the century used the power generated by the water to mill flax. So it's quite nice to know that the iwi are still using the resources that it always had. A number of the farms around here are iwi owned and I guess it's one of the things with our kaitiaki responsibilities, a lot of the iwi appreciate, yes, we need to derive a return off the land, but actually we have obligations as well. We decided that we wanted to eco-source our own seeds and grow our own plants for uh, riparian planting and native restoration. So we set up this native tree nursery to produce 20,000 plants a year. But what we're hoping to do is to be able to do up to 60,000 plants a year and we should have the size and capacity for that. We do have something of a microclimate here during winter, she gets pretty cold. So uh, we've found that plants that we source from here tend to grow the best here.